girl is about three years old, and she stands about this high. And she wears a big squishy diaper. So when she walks, she walks like this. <laughs> now the cool baby went to the Pied Piper Preschool. You must remember, the Pied Piper Preschool. Now in the town where the blue baby lived, there was a big old-fashioned house with a porch roof called a gable. And this house was owned by a woman named Mabel. So they called the house Mabel's Gable. Now, Mabel was a very, very rich woman. She was a very, very mean woman. She was a very, very stingy woman. And she was very, very, very old. And one day, Mabel died, and nobody ever found her body, and nobody ever found her gold either. Every once in a while, somebody would go to Mabel's Gable to see if they could find her money. But they were always scared away by the ghost of Mabel's Gable. Well, one day, there were these two great big eighth grade football players. Probably, what, what middle school do you guys are going to go, go to? Oh, this goes up to eighth grade? Yeah, it's going up to six. Up to sixth grade. Michigan so where do you go after Center? that? Michigan Center. Yeah. Michigan right. Center. Two eighth grade football players from Michigan Center who thought they were big and tough. And so they decided that they would go to Mabel's Gable and they would get the money and they'd split it 50-50 and then they could buy whatever they wanted to. So the, uh, they went to the Mabel's Gable and the first football player said to the second football player, I'll go inside and then uh, we can split the money 50-50, we can buy whatever we want to, and the second football player said, cool! So the first football player, he popped a little iron. And he opened up the big squeaky front door. And then the great, big, eighth grade football player walked all the way down this long, dark, narrow hall. Boom, 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 boom. And when he got to the end of the hall, there was a long, low table. On top of the table was a great big bag of gold. Was, oh, I can get cars, I can get iPads, I can get iPhones, I can get video games. This is just great. And he reached out to grab the bag, bag of gold. But as soon as he touched it, he heard a voice that said, I'm the ghost of Mabel. I see the money stays on the table. And he jumped just like you did. And he ran <laughs> out of the house. He ran past his friend who looked and said, ooh, cool, all the more money for me. So the second football player, he popped a little iron. And he walked all the way, he opened up the big squeaky front door. And he walked down that long, dark, narrow hall. Boom, 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 boom. And when he got to the end of the hall, there was this long, low table and a great big bag of gold. He said, oh, Nintendos, Xboxes, cars, girls, food, anything I wanted to. And he reached out to grab a bag of gold. And as soon as he touched it, he heard the voice that said, I'm Good the ghost late of morning, Cardinals. Guess what? We're having a heat wave. Now I'm only kidding. It's still Michigan. It's still cold. Um, so we're staying inside today. Uh, third and fourth graders, put your walking shoes on because you'll be able to do some laps in those halls. Fifth and sixth graders, mind your manners in the lunchroom if you want to enjoy some gym time. And let's have a nice recess. Yeah, so we reached out and grabbed the bag of gold and as soon as they touched it, you heard the voice say, I'm the ghost of Mabel's. I say the money stays on the table. And he ran out of the, out of the house. Uh, he ran. He ran out of the house, he ran down the street, he, he ran so fast, he ran past his friend who was still running. Now, the boo baby happened to be looking out the window of the Pied Piper Preschool, and she saw the two eighth grade football players went by. She said, ooh, they must have gone to Mabel Gable to get the money and gotten scared away by the ghost. I think, I'll go, and then I can have all the rubble gum I want. <laughs> so she just shut her diapers, and she walked out of the Pied Piper Preschool, down the street, down the, uh, in, up to the stairs of the pipe of the uh, in Mabel's Gable. She opened up that big squeaky front door, and that little teeny tiny blue baby walked all the way down that long, dark, narrow hall. And she saw that big bag of gold on that table at the end of the hall. And she says, "Oh, bubble gum!" And she reached out to grab the bag of gold, but as soon as she did. She heard the voice and said, I'm the ghost of Mabel's. If I say the money stays on the table. Well, 
Well, I'm the baby from Pied Piper, and I say the money goes in my diaper. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the blue baby girl got rich. <laughs> Uh, actually, we'll, we'll kind of go through the story. What's the first thing that happened in that story? We're going to kind of go through the, story, the sequence of the story. What's the first thing that happened? Yes. Um, What's the first thing I did? What's the first thing I told you? Okay, I told you where she went to preschool, which was the Piper Preschool. Okay, and I also, what else did I describe or tell you about? To introduce you to, yes. She had a big diaper, yeah, yeah, so you can kind of visualize what she looked like. Okay, yes. Okay, Mabel's Gable and how she was mean and mean and rich. And, okay. Um, so so I set the story up, you got the introduction, what you know, just to sort of set the scene of what it looked like. And then what's the next thing that happened? What's the first kind of action that happened in the story? Yes. And what did they, what did they, what did they do? They went, they went to get rich, so Trish was living in the house, or went in Mabel's gable, and he got scared away by the ghost, and then she gave Okay, and then what happened after the first football player got scared away? The second football player got scared away. Okay, and they ran past what? I heard her And who was there? That little baby. <laughs> that little baby. And so what did she think? What did she what did she say? Yes. Oh, don't those football players might be scared, but I'm at something like that. I'm gonna get me some bubble gum. Good. I'm gonna get the money and I'm gonna get some bubble gum. And so she went to Mabel's table, she walked down the hall, and what did she uh, what did she hear? What does the ghost say? Yes. What does the ghost say? And so what does she say? And what did the baby girl say? Yes. I, I, I say the money. No, I'm the, it has to rhyme. So you kind of have to memorize that part. What did the baby say? What does the blue baby say? I'm, I'm the baby of pie, 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 pie. And I say the, and I say the money. money goes in my diaper. diaper. <laughs> okay, <laughs> terrific. All right. How much time do we have before we go? Do you have? So I'm going to have power. Okay. All right. Then I think what we're going to do, let's see if we can do this. Um, can you, can you, is there a quick way you can put them into, into partners? Yes. You can get with your 9 o'clock partner. Oh, did you want to do that right yeah, now? Yeah, right, and then sit on the floor. Oh, so no, I know 9 o'clock partner. Your partner. Your no, partner. No, 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 just sit with your partner. There's a number of people who's their partner. Oh, okay. okay. And you can spread out. Sit, sit so that you're facing your partner, knee to knee. And look, there's someone else that doesn't have one. So go ahead. Okay, if you have your partner, you should be sitting down right here facing each other. Hillary, who's your partner? Who is that? Will, who's your partner? Face your partner. Face your partner. Need uh, Sarah, who's your partner? Spread out. There's plenty of room. Spread out so that you can, you know, have a little bit more room. Okay. All right. Uh, decide who is partner number. Be with. Uh, there's a kid that doesn't have. Raise your hand if you have a partner. They, they should all have one. So Kevin. There. We just have one with three. Okay. All right. So um, decide who is partner number one. And who's partner number two? Raise your hand. Okay, put your hand down. Uh, I will start the story, and when I finish the introduction, then partner number two, you keep telling my story from where I left off. You just keep going until I shake my giggle stick. Yeah, when I shake my giggle stick, then partner number two will continue the story from where partner number one left off until I shake the giggle stick again, and then partner number one will continue. So we'll kind of go back and forth, retelling the story of the, um, of the boo baby. And if you forget, your partner can kind of give you a little hint, okay?
this isn't a test, we're just going to see what happens. All right, so um, there was once this little boo baby. She was three years old, stood about this high, and she wore a big 